This is a 28-year-old female undergoing MRI examination of the brain for evaluation of chronic headaches. Centered within the pineal region, there is a T1 iso-intense, T2 flare hypo-intense mass without diffusion restriction and without signal dropout on susceptibility weighted images, and with signal dropout on susceptibility weighted images. The lesion demonstrates mild, slightly heterogeneous enhancement engulfing the pineal mineralizations. Germinoma was favored given the overall appearance of the calcifications and mineralizations within the lesion. The differential included pineoblastoma, intraventricular neurocytoma, or less likely cavernoma. On biopsy, this was found to be a germinoma. Germinoma are a type of germ cell tumor that are predominantly seen in pediatric populations. They occur in the midline with the majority of lesions occurring in the pineal region or along the floor of the third ventricle and or supracellar region. The majority of patients are less than 20 years old at time of initial diagnosis. Germinomas account for approximately 5% of all pediatric intracranial tumors and less than 1% of intracranial adult tumors. They are the most common type of pineal region tumor with males more commonly affected in the setting of pineal lesions. Presentation depends on location with pineal lesions typically resulting in compression of the tectal plate and secondary hydrocephalus with possible perinol syndrome. Treatment is typically with radiotherapy. Case 269. 35-year-old female presenting for evaluation of facial asymmetry. Centered within the left frontal bone, there is an expansile T1 hypo-intense, T2 hypo-intense, heterogeneously enhancing lesion with both flare hypo-intense and slightly hyper-intense components, which demonstrate mild diffusion restriction. The lesion expands the diploic space of the left frontal bone with extension along the roof of the left orbit where there is slight inferior and medial orbital displacement. There is no invasion of the underlying dural surface or extraocular musculature. Imaging findings are classic for craniofacial fibrous dysplasia. Typical presentations include cranial asymmetry, facial deformity, nasal stuffiness, proptosis, and or visual impairment. The anterior craniofacial structures are more frequently involved with the sphenoid, frontal, maxillary, and ethmoid bones predominating. Heterogeneous signal predominates in the T1 and T2 weighted images with heterogeneous enhancement also observed. Treatment is typically for cases where the airway or orbital structures are compromised. The infiltrative nature of the craniofacial disease usually precludes complete resection.